hello guys and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how you can access or test your localhost server on other devices like your smartwatch your tablet your other laptop and even your phones your smartphones like what other phones you have so if you want to test your react application your view application your wordpress application your swift like whatever local development you're getting on your system and you want to test it on your phone or your other laptop yeah you can do that so if you have like a chat application and you want to test your chat application like with multiple users to see how it works and you can do that without you actually hosting it okay what you actually need is a router but if you don't have a router you can use your phone or spot so let me just explain with the aid of the diagram how this flow is going to go so now this is your router so now the devices that you want to access your local host server on should be connected to the same network the same wi-fi the same router or the same hotspot you created so now this laptop over here is where our system right our web server like where our application is then all these other devices are the ones that you want to access that you want to access your application in so you just need a router for this simple as that okay so now I'm, i'll be using an application called laragon and laragon is um actually provides us a web server like apache or nginx and also provides us with mysql as well so if you want to use laragon feel free to use it there's also zamp wamp and the rest like that but i prefer laragon so you could go download laragon for this so now go to laragon i have to open laragon right now okay now as you say start all what i want to do i want to test a php and mysql web application so let's check it in the root folder this is the root folder this is the block that i want to test like this is the app i want to test right so okay now so let me open my chrome and let's see from there so i'll see localhost for slash the blog right to see if it's working yeah the blog is working fine so now the way we are going to access our website from other devices we need to get the ip address of our laptop connected to the um, router because when you connect your laptop to the router it gives you an ip address that um it's used to locate or it's used to assign on the network so the way we are going to check that is i'm going to open our command line i use commander but normally you can just go to cli here your normal cmd command prompt that you have you can go to this one normally but i prefer commander so in commander what you need to do is to type ip config if you're on windows type ip config if you're on mac if config so i'm on windows so i F config and if you're on Linux as well, it's IF config. So IP config to see the IP address the router assigned to me using GCP. Okay, so now let's go. Oh, sorry, I have to connect to the to my Wi-Fi. My bad. Let's connect to my Wi-Fi first before I can do that. Um, quick note: your Wi-Fi doesn't really need to be connected to the internet for it to work. Like, you don't really need to be connected to the internet for this for it to work. But you just need to have a connection that's just it if there's no internet connection if you don't have data it's still gonna work fine properly okay now we're connected so now let me redo the stuff again ip config so now we are seeing this so this is the ip address the, we're looking for the wireless lan this is the ip address so we're going to copy this now so copy All right so now let's test it here so what you need to do is to paste it the address we're looking for for slash blog right this is the local this is the local host yes this is it instead of putting local host you put this ip address so now we're seeing a blog so now let's test this thing on our phone okay now so on our phone i just have to type in the address 192 so the address is 03 right then for slash the blog Trying to get to the blog right the blog and i'll press enter and just like that we've seen the application and it also says the the database as well if i press more 
and we can see this so that's for that so let's test the react application immediately so in the react application i already um where is it so i already started it up to just speed up the video we don't have much time to waste so for us to access it here we can also say local 3000 yeah we've seen it right so on our phone sort of local 3000 the ip address the same way as we're supposed to do so let me go back there so the ip address that we just did then you put in the port number the port number is important you put in the port number so i put in the port number which is 3000 right and i press enter now we have seen the application on our phone as well so if you're using angular or if you're using other frameworks so if you're using node.js as well put in the port number attach it to the ip address then it's going to work simple just like that okay now so i'm going to test one of my application as well i develop um a youtube clone so i'm going to test the youtube clone right here i use vue.js and node.js and also mongodb as well so let's test it if it's going to work so i've actually put on the server for both application um so they are here oh this is for the react um so this is a view application so if the what i like view is that views are telling us the network already it's telling us the ip address for us to access it on the network already it's already doing that for us isn't that beautiful like it's it's very very nice okay now so what we need to do now is to access this guy on our phone as well so what you need is just the port like we said the port so i'm changing the port to 8080 and i press enter and yeah so it's loading yeah we can see this is my application but if you notice it's it's not loading the video like i still need to work on the responsiveness but if you notice it's not loading the video it's giving us an error the reason why is that is because um it's, it's locating in um in my view application i actually wrote it properly like i use modularization to do that so it's it's actually like locating this localhost 3000 that is the api but the api is no longer localhost like since we're connected to the internet so now what we need to do we need to change this url of everything to this address that we have here so 192.168.23.103 just like that and now it's save so it's safe because that's where we're trying to assess it from so but you know when you when you do that for your env you have to restart the server so we have to start the server again and npm run serve okay yeah so it started up so now what we need to do now is to refresh it again and see Okay, I don't know why it's taking that much of a time. Okay, yeah. So now we can see the videos are loading and my thumbnails are there, like my application, everything are loading. Okay, now, so guys, that's for it. So take note when you're doing this and you're using like a Vue.js or something about Node, talking about the port number. So please attach the port number to the IP address, unless it's not going to work. But if you're talking about Laragon, Laragon, the default is 80. So all your application on your website normally is 80 like port 80 so it's going to work fine but as for the react the maybe the laravel you're going to try um i think they have port numbers so those port numbers that you assign to your node.js application to your dyno to whatever whatnot put it there unless it's not going to work okay now so that's it guys um please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button if this video has been um useful for you and don't also forget to click the bell icon so you get notified when i release new content okay bye guys see you in the next one